Will Smith. You know what? That's good. That's even better. I like it. Uh -huh. it's, it's better. Uh, Will Smith from it? fucking um, what's that? Where he's like uh, he's trying to sell medical equipment. It's that movie with him and his kid. Oh, Pursuit of happiness. happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that Will Smith though. Yeah, Just I, defeated. Really? His final smash is him crying at the end when he gets the job. <laughs> <laughs> Every clap sends a shockwave out. <laughs> Like more and more of a goddamn top 100 characters we want to smash. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is Turbo Slake DX. I'm here with uh, Richard, Jeremy, Jeff, and Fred. All five of us are here. We're gonna be talking about character predictions for Smash 2018 for the Switch. All the I Rangers. have quite a list. Uh, I don't know what they have. Of course you do. I guess I'm a faggot for Smash. Leave me alone. Like smash your face. You just oh. want shove about Smash. So last time we talked about returning characters wasn't wasn't so much a character prediction, but like a, hey, like this is the cast that usually makes it into Smash, and this is the changes we they might see. But uh, now today we're just gonna go on full blown character predictions. And uh, who wants to who wants to start off this one? Mm, I got it. Ooh, all right. So we're gonna start off with Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. Character predictions go. Gino from s the, the Mario RPG. And I'm done. Why? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> I mean, did Gino make it into like uh? No, he didn't no, he make didn't it. make it into anything. No, wasn't like, he uh? Requested since uh, wasn't there like a Fortune Street or some shit that he made it into or some shit like that? That's well, like, not the, uh, one But of people the, have uh, been asking for him since uh, Melee. Sakurai's never gonna give it to them though. See, but does Gino is he owned by Nintendo? Or is he owned by Square? No, he's owned by Square. Oh, so Square that's uh. I mean, just let him, him, Mallow. I mean, anyone created for that game, I think. Specifically, Mallow. like fuck, you know what? No, yeah, fuck Gino. Let's get Mallow instead. <laughs> yeah, Mallow, the cloud mushroom. No, 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 Mallow, Mallow from Twilight Princess, so he could start that weird his business. Baby? That yeah, weird... set up his his business. Yo, fucking fuck him, the little fucking boss baby <laughs> asshole. You buy, you get the best armor in the game from. He's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta insert money into your asshole to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Continue. It's, we all knew, my guy. Yeah, That's all you have, Gino. Yeah, I didn't. Have, I just wanted to make a joke. Oh my! God. I'll have something later. It's I got some. So I got good. some. I got some. I I actually got a list here. Let me, let me pull up a list of. Characters. I better hear. Some out of your these. Pocket. Some of these I've actually mentioned before on previous podcasts. Uh, it's actually the previous one for Smash Four. Um. So uh, I mentioned one in our last podcast in particular. Um. And I'm, so I'm just going to start off with him. Travis Touchdown. No more heroes. Why not? It makes that a lot of sense. On my list. I'm sorry. I stole yours. Sorry for I, go take I, a lap. No, I figure most of the ones that are on my list are going to be on everyone else's list. <laughs> but yeah, I mentioned him last in the last podcast, and I still stand by it. Like especially now more than ever, since he's got you know another new game coming out yeah. exclusively to Switch. It would make sense, you know, you know, just throw him in there, kind of like they did with Bayonetta. Um, you can even though he's more a more adult oriented character, and he's very I guess crude, um, and very uh, he, a lot he uses a lot of colorful language. You can work around it and do a lot of interesting things with him. I think, even though pe most people probably look at him just like, oh, it's just gonna be another sword user. Well, <laughs> but, I mean, but he's got all those cool. I mean, but he's got all those cool wrestling moves and shit. You can do. He's got a lot of things you can do. Bayonetta literally strip teases. I mean, she does. I mean, we got in a lesser game that uh. What's that? That PlayStation All Stars. We got Dante. Dante. No, uh, yeah, we got PlayStation we got All Stars. The... Was like a, it, it was like a big it was advertisement. A... It was a trash tier game. Remember the greatest but... game ever was in that was Star uh, Starhawk. But we played it. We played it and we enjoyed it. And then we yeah. sat there. And then after every game, we'd be like, "All right." Just like <laughs> <laughs> but Starhawk guy was in it. He was. Yeah. In it. I forgot his I name. The black dude. Uh, black yeah, dude. I forgot his name too. Holy yeah, shit! Starhawk guy. Starhawk guy. Star Hawk guy. Star Hawk guy. But Star, anyway, Star Hawk me, and Negro. They should put me, Mag in there. Yeah, you guys honest. gave him another nickname, if I recall. Do you think they should put yeah. Mag in there? 
Like, in no. general? The game or the, the character? The Mac? Game. Yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. 256 people playing hey, man, all, since, all, since, since we're on the subject of PlayStation All Stars, I would not be opposed to a uh, second one if they ever want to come out with it. They're not going to. Anyway, <laughs> let me let me finish going through my list here because I, I got a few. Um, I, personally, I would like to see another another, and I know I'll probably actually replace um maybe one of the Fire Emblem reps. Give us something new. Give us fucking Tharja from Fire Emblem. No since, more Fire Emblem since she's not <laughs> one, she's not a she's not like a, a, a sword user. She's actually strictly spells. So like give like make something make it interesting out of her. Like yeah, Robin has something like that. But at the end of the day, Robin still uses a sword, still swings a sword around. It's not he's not just Robin like a, a two mage. swords. He's not Robin. He is she is not just a mage. He's like mostly a uh, a strategist. So he he has the best of both worlds. He can do both. Whereas Tharja is just a straight up fucking magic user. Like yeah, but we can have Roy again. No, we have Roy already. We can have him twice. I don't want him anymore. I think Jeff had a point. No more Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I honestly, guess. as far as Fire Emblem goes, they're gonna fucking get as much Fire Emblem in there as they can, like they did. Well, fucking with the last game, there's so many Fire Emblem characters. Oh, Actually, Smash Awakening. Brother says no Roys. We're allowed to have one. <laughs> well, Awakening is pop is like the one the by most popular by far the most popular Fire Emblem currently so because you know it brought the fucking series back and everybody loves it so much why not bring another character from awakening uh. but uh because like we could we could honestly do if i'm if i'm completely honest we could do without lucina so just as i do love lucina we can get a whole brand new character and instead of just her yeah she um, plays that character but anyway uh <laughs> character like uh, this is more along the lines of somebody that, that's been in the series before that i'd like to cut see come back since i feel like he's kind of been robbed uh, I think we should get Wolf back. Oh, should... I thought you were gonna say Rob the robot. No, <laughs> Rob's been. He's in four. He ain't yeah, going but you nowhere. said Rob. He ain't going nowhere. No, I said robbed, but yeah, I know Rob. Rob. Yeah. Oh my God, Jeff! <laughs> God damn it! No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, Wolf. I think he should get another chance. He was a good character in Brawl. He was different enough. Uh, maybe a new, pu maybe a new Punch Out character. Maybe someone along to go alongside fucking. Uh, uh, Ooh, go glass fucking Mac. Joe? Get the fuck out of here. No, sit down. I, was, Take a I was I was gonna say Sandman. <laughs> glass no, Glass Joe, shut up, that'd be perfect. I was gonna say Sandman or uh uh what's his face? Mike Tyson? I was yeah, gonna say Mike, sure Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should import a character like Mike Tyson and just change his name slightly. So you know we can avoid a copyright infringement. Oh. Something like uh, Mike uh, Mike Bison. Maybe? <laughs> Mike Bison. <laughs> we should run with that. My bike money. You know what Punch Out when they changed uh, Mike Tyson Everyone... they changed him to a white dude. Everyone's favorite boxer, Tyke Lyson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bite your ear off. <laughs> oh, um, Mike Tyson, that'd be great. Or even fucking Bald Bull. Bald Bull would be dope. Yeah, Bald Bull would be cool. But um. But does Punch Out get enough like attention like that that people would, they would? No. You know what they do? They'd put in King Hippo. That's what they would do. They could do that. They I mean, would. I think I think we could do, yeah. just use another like another rep alongside that series. Like maybe give give fucking Doc. Little Mac like a villain or something. You know, kind of like how they Doc. Yeah. Why Doc? He was a DLC fight in uh, the Wii game. Remember? You punch the chocolate out of his hand, he gets really pissed and could be Which was like so was Donkey was Kong. Really weird at the time because like yeah, DLC was like fucking, unheard of for the Wii. Yeah, there's something fucking messed up about that fight. He grabs Little Mac if he wins, and he he fucking swings off, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my last one, I, first I was gonna say, first I was gonna say a custom Robo character, but no, fuck that, forget that. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. never gonna happen. That's stupid. Um, <laughs> this is one I said. I said. In our, I said, I said this is one I said in our character prediction video for Smash Four, and I still stand by it. And I think we should get Dixie Kong from Donkey Kong Dixie Country. Kong. Yeah, why not? Why not Baby Kong? Though? We got no. Get that fucker out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to take care of his baby ass and hear him cry. Yo, Jer no, no one likes him. No Jeremy. one likes Baby Kong. D Jeremy, do you remember when they were promoting Donkey Kong Country Three by chance? They didn't say Dixie Kong's new adventure in the promo stuff. They said Baby Kong's new adventure. No, first of all, it wasn't. No, it wasn't Baby. It was Kitty Kong. Kitty, Kitty Kong. Which, uh, whatever. There you go. No one likes Kitty Kong. Yeah, but if anyone does stuff. like him, it's because he's Funky Kong's son, and everybody loves Funky Kong. What's wrong, Kitty Kong? I, I like, made boom boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes. No one likes Kitty Kong. 
Dixie Kong, on the other hand, can do something useful. She's got the hair, whipping it back and forth, you know, like the song. Good times, right? Stop. Fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> Moving but on yeah, from Jeremy because he just made a stupid my, comment. Yeah, those are just <laughs> th that was just my what, what I'd like to see, what I what I would hope to see and predict or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. All right, so are you done, Jeremy? I am. All right, so we're gonna roll this over to Fred. Fred, let me hear you. Let me let me, let me, let me get this. Um, I feel like there'll be some sort of arms character. I don't know arms no, very well, but yeah, for sure. The main I dude, probably. I, you know, I can't Brain man and uh, ribbon girl. Or yeah, her too. Either of the main. Like, I want the robot chick. Oh, you're not gonna get it. You're gonna get one of the main. <laughs> oh, people, you're gonna Fred. you're gonna get Spring Man. That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> to be fair, his design's not bad. I like his Colgate toothpaste hairdo. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't. Um, even, I completely forgot about arms. Yeah. Makes sense. It died shortly after it came out. <laughs> it did, but hey, you know what? It went the way. Games, it went the way of Punch Out, but look at that! Look what happened. Little Mac made it. Watch a uh, Spring Man or like Ribbon Girl just be like a clone of fucking Little Mac. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That would be so lame. Uh oh. That was me. Like fucking customized ringtone, my guy. It's a fucking iPhone. I can't get it. Well, try. I'm gonna try. Right, so Fred, what was your? Uh... Um, well, ones? Jeremy already said Travis touchdown. Um, uh, that dude from Gunvolt, maybe? Him? You know, oh, uh, fucking Gunvolt, right? Just yeah. him? Yeah, yeah his name Azure Striker. Yeah, his name's Gunvolt. Uh, uh, that's not big enough. I, don't I would feel. like to see that too, but then again, what would his moveset be? I'm gonna besides be honest, shooting I don't, I don't and shocking even know things. who that guy is. <laughs> Richard, stand by uh, as I pull up a picture. I guess for any, I guess for He's, anyone listening that doesn't know what Gunvolt is, it was or, the game in a, not in a fune, but is his company were what they were on or whatever. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, NC Creates. I think. I think. Well, whatever. It's still that's I mean, still that was, his. That just, All right. It, this is this is basically the gist of okay. Gunfall. If you want to take a character that's super fucking cool and has like the best design and put him in like a mediocre game, that's that's Gunvolt. I like to I like to compare <laughs> the games themselves to like a easier Mega Man Zero. Like I love the games, but they're not they're not anything amazing or interesting. They're not challenging. Is, is this on Switch? It's yeah. 3DS. No, it's There's on 3DS. Switch. Oh yeah, it's they ported. They ported. Yeah, they ported yeah, the the on Switch. You can get the right. uh, Striker Pack on uh, Switch now. Yeah, it comes also, with both games actually, and it's like I actually top highly top. recommend Mighty Gunvolt uh fucking what break or whatever. Actually, the, yeah. The bit version cuz also the I've DLC characters good. are really cool. And is it, that the, actually uh, if, is that if, the one with if, Mighty if, Number 9 or whatever or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I have I that one. I recommend a character from that series uh in the second Gunvolt game. What's his name? I forgot his the second Cohen. character's name. Cohen. Cohen. I would honestly prefer to have him since he's got a more interesting tool set and move set like Oh, I thought game. you were going to say Beck. No, get the fuck out of here. Beck is lame. <laughs> nah. Who nah. the fuck likes Beck? He's he's one of my characters. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I know that anime was horrible. Anyway, that's what I was talking about. He's pretty good guy. Well, Jeremy mentioned this earlier, but yeah. you know, uh, a drill dozer reference or character. Hey. At, at some point, that would be cool. Hey. Um. Besides that, I don't really have anything. I I said Bomberman maybe. You know, hey, I don't think that'll happen. Nah, I don't know. Fred, you that. can be real right now. Like, Drill Dozer, that girl from ARMS, all and all that nonsense. Like, you can be real. You just want Trombon in the game. Like, let's be real. You just want a girl no. piloting a mech, and that's okay, because yeah, I want that too. He wants, he wants a girl piloting a mech, because the mech is power, and power is sexy. Indeed yes. It is. <laughs> and Trump, yes. But, but Trombon is a great character, and no one can ever. Oh, Fred, and, Fred walks up to Trombon, and he's like, hey, girl, and he's like, uh,. How you doing? And then she gets in this mech and he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and my last, but not least, pick would be uh, Skyrim. Skyrim's gonna be a character. <laughs> yeah! Why can't it just be? It should just be Todd Howard. That's what it yes. should be. Yes! Buy my he throws game. copies of Skyrim. <laughs> you pick yeah. Skyrim in the character select screen, you pick your uh, map. It loads and then a copy of Skyrim just pops up. And it's, it's just like, the game. He just, like it's like every time you pick him, like you just pick Todd Howard. It plays the fucking Skyrim theme, and it's just like buy my game, buy my game, and that's it. He automatically wins every single time. Get a character, Peggle two. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else, Fred? Well, no, that's it. That's all. That's all for me. Uh, we're gonna sling it over to Richard. What do you What do you think, my guy? All right, so so a character I would like to see is Deadpool, just because Marvel lost the rights to the X Men, 
So I figure, you know, with Switch being as family friendly as it is, <laughs> I could definitely see Deadpool making a making a, a like a like a, a spotlight entrance. Leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, you mean the Wolverine Origins version, right, where he doesn't talk? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the 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 best version. Yeah. But yeah, just s- like that cloud that Galactus was in the Fantastic Four movie. Of course. Terrible. Terrible. In, in all seriousness, with the uh, return of uh, older characters from our generation, like the Crash Remaster and uh, Spyro coming out later this year. Um, oh, you're one of those who wants Crash. Well, no, no, no. Uh, I'm saying in amalgamation with um, Banjo being, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, or Rare, I should say, making Sea of Thieves, getting their name back out there, I could see Banjo-Kazooie actually coming on to uh, the latest version of Switch. Okay. Hasn't, like, Phil Spencer, whatever his name is, like, been, like, saying, like, oh, I'm okay with uh, Banjo being a Smash, do a Nintendo or some shit like that. Yeah, he did. He tweeted it out, I think. I th- yeah, but I think I think Sakurai went along the lines of just being like, "No, that's okay. We don't." It's not want gonna that. happen, though. <laughs> I mean, what? <clears throat> but I mean, that's that's yeah, that's always cool. Uh, just a uh, breaking news, real quick. Uh, Emma has hit us up with Bubsy, so we have to talk about that. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. I mean, I guess I guess he is relevant again since he has a new game. The game sucks, man. Fuck you. No, it's, no it's shit, better it's, than, sucks. it's better than Forces. Ooh. Well, I mean, there's worse You can't than deny that either. That's worse, the You problem. know what? It might be better than Forces, but the music won't be better than Forces. I don't know, I man. Like I feel like Sonic Forces is a much more enjoyable game. Than I don't, I don't feel that at all. Let's let's be real. real. Forces Sonic and Sonic Mania Sonic. <laughs> Sonic well, Forces two, you, all right? Two two completely plays. different <laughs> Sonic, Sonic, Sonic forces you to play, force you on the ground and to play this game. <laughs> Sonic forces you to wait till marriage. Continue. <laughs> anyway, continue. So, what were your other characters? <clears throat> um, I mean that that's really all I wanted. Well, that's all I. That's all I would want. Oh. Aside from the people who've already made it in from the last, um, the last Smash DLC and the characters that you've named, I, I really really wouldn't I couldn't see anybody else coming in I feel like there are a lot of good predictions here already all right so you're, you're good I'm good all right so I'm gonna move on to my list my list is uh it's a little big but uh I'm gonna <laughs> go through it is. real quick uh so of course I have character predictions I'm um, obviously I think Sonic's gonna come back he's been the mainstay of the series for two games now so hopefully he stays that way uh, uh I don't know don't you don't you right. say horses nothing. suck I mean, forces suck, but Mania. I mean, Mania is going the way of uh, the Sega Genesis, where they're going to try to extend it as long as possible because it's like the only good thing Sega put out in a while. So they, the the expansion for Mania is going to be like the 32x of the Genesis. Sega did Persona <laughs> Five. What do you what? Atlas did Persona Five. Sega just published it. Same thing. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Sega didn't even publish it. You fucking moron. <laughs> they, he didn't look. They didn't even publish it. You fucking moron. <laughs> 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 Atlas <laughs> publishes, <laughs> Atlas publishes their own games. <laughs> this is true. Anyway, so uh, I think the Ice Climbers are going to come back because the 3DS gimped the uh, <clears throat> the roster a little bit. Yeah, they already. St- well, already we don't. We don't. That said, they're going to bring the Ice Climbers in since that limitation has been removed. Yeah, we don't got to worry about a 3DS version no more because <laughs> who the fuck cares about 3DS? I kind of <laughs> wanted Jeremy's input on this or uh, and Jeff's because they're both uh, they both more know about Metroid than I do. But like yes. another Metroid rep, like besides yes. like Samus. <laughs> Ridley's too big, bro. All right, you want my honest opinion? You want yes. my honest, honest opinion on who I think another a rep should be, other than Sa- like than just Samus? I'm actually curious. And what I'm not even, say? and I'm not even gonna sit here and say one of the other fucking um hunters, because I think they're all fucking lame. A, a copy of Prime Hunters? No, the hunters from fucking Prime. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, honestly, I would say the Sox from Fusion, like, because you could vary it up a bit. To in, 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 like to implement some of the uh, the ex parasite like into her moves, and like mm. he's a like Saw X surprisingly is a much more interesting like for for a thing as a parasite that just copies Samus, it's a much it, more interesting character than all the fucking hunters from Metroid Prime or mm. Prime, Metroid Prime hunters because like in that little bit of story that you get in Fusion with the Saw X, like it's. It's like infinitely more interesting. It's, uh, like, like, it's a very for someone it's who's like ignorant like, with Metroid. Isn't Sonic's is? like just a yeah. armor suit or some shit like that, or it looks no, like? No, no, it's a parasite. It's, 
took it's form. literally a parasite that was just like that took the image of Samus and just covered it. If you want me to give you an example for anyone who hasn't played Fusion, uh, Jeremy will probably agree with this. It's like Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. That's exactly what it is. It's fucking. It's frightening when you run into it in the beginning because it can it can murder you and it will. It wants mm -hmm. to kill you. you oh. Although it helps you in the end. Though. You literally cannot fight it until the end of the game. And every time you do run into it, it's like it plays like this fucking eerie music, and it's like the fucking. It's actually surprisingly really scary. And like, it, it puts you on edge whenever you do run into Saix because you know if you try and fight Saix, she'll fuck you up. That thing will fuck you up. So it's I don't know like, why you're saying it like that. Isn't it just S A X? Well, I, yeah, S A dash X, but I just call it Saix. I, I've just never heard anyone say I, that. I, I, there's no X X. Hey, there's I will. No you know what? <laughs> <laughs> they do anything with. Uh, you know, they're never going to do it, but they ever gave us uh, alternate outfits. I would love Samus's fusion outfit because she looked like a super soaker. Hey, wait, no, you do <laughs> got that. You have it in Smash 4. It's an alternate color. Come on, Is man. Is it? Oh, no, not a color. I mean, like a full blown outfit. Or no, you're not. No. I mean, I would remember, like. It, remember in Fusion how, like, uh, it was organic? I mean, technically, you do have her fusion out, her fusion zero suit, not the actual. Oh, uh, no, I want the actual super soaker outfit. Yeah, I want that too because it looks fucking goofy, but it's cool. Uh, well, for that, for that one, I looks, literally just you know put, what she uh, looks like. I'm oh, sorry, I just wanted to say like, like you know, what she looks like when she when she has the fusion suit. She looks like fucking like someone just took a whole bunch of Nickelodeon's gack and just threw it all. <laughs> 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 I'm just, like I'm not even joking. That's what it looks like. It's just like the, a mixture of just fucking. The sad dude. thing about that outfit is how like it's it's stuck to her forever. Yeah. Not, but in the ending, she takes it off. It's just that's the armor she uses, or like the suit that she uses. It's like it's binded to her, but like she does take it off at the end of Fusion because like if depending on the endings that you get, you'll see her in her zero suit, which is the fucking orange. Oh, the I orange know. That's shorts. just a bonus thing. I wouldn't count that as like. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she could still take so it for off. That, for that one, I literally just put Metroid Rep. I, I was literally looking for uh, input from Jeff or that's, uh, Jeremy. That's that's the day. only that's the only other character because to be, on, to be completely honest, in fucking every Metroid game aside from Ridley or maybe what Krang was that his name? I forgot his name. The other space pirate. Kraid. Yeah, like no, Kraid really, is the, is that, what else? The the hunters aren't interesting enough. Like they're lame. They're, they're, they're super lame. fucking lame. Like the game I mean, itself. You could, if anything, maybe, maybe take like one of those like from the, those fucking galactic soldiers or whatever from what was that? Ah, game? What was that insult? Other, what, other that insult of a fucking game that came out on 3ds. Uh, that oh, had uh, the, the Federation Force. Force. <laughs> Federation Force. Yeah. You could maybe take one of those guys and throw them in as another character, but I'd. Sonic not. forces you to play Federation forces you. To play <laughs> <laughs> Sonic forces forces you to play Federation, which also forces you to fucking kill Samus. She's the final boss. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from Metroid. Uh, I, I I personally want another uh, Kid Icarus rep. Other than uh, for one, get rid of uh, get rid of a uh, Dark Pit. Dark Pit. I was gonna say Black Pit, and I was like, I know that's wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dude, dude, he's not yeah. black. <laughs> I know who they're gonna add in if it was anyone else. There's only one other character they're gonna add in. That's what Palpatine. Is that just your name? No, uh, Palpatine's well, already Pal in the game. Palpatine is already in Smash Oh, she? Okay. But I was, I was thinking like even, like even if they go like, uh, if for a new character, I, I wouldn't mind like uh, Verity or uh, Hades, because like Hades is like the the final final boss, and like he had like a lot of personality and stuff. But uh, maybe even add like Medusa, because she Medusa's been like a mainstay like uh, Kid Icarus enemy. And uh, make her like she owns a staff too, so make maybe make her like a slight like Palatina clone or some shit like that. I don't know, but I, I really liked Uprising. Like I never played like, the original Kid Icarus, but Uprising was like mad fun. I, I really enjoyed the it. The more I see it, Uprising is regarded as one of the more like one of the better 3DS games. It is. It's like it's like because like usually when I play a game, I'll play it for a while and then like I'll get bored of it, or, or if there's like the story's progressing slowly, I'll get bored of it. But like there's always like. A character talking like every like every stage you played and there was always like conversation and like Hades had like a lot of personality and like Medusa not so much but like I, I wouldn't mind seeing Brady or Hades I mean I don't know exactly how they'll play but I would like to see another Kid Icarus a character and get rid of Dark Pit because Dark Pit's trash uh, damn call on from there uh, since the reveal trailer they showed Breath of the Wild Link and this is like the first time in like Smash history that they're including a a link that's like relevant as in like he's still like the latest link and because like even with yeah, smash 4 it was like 
he was like Twilight Princess uh, Link with like some elements mixed in from Skyward Sword, but it wasn't Skyward Sword Link. And the same goes with Zelda. So I would like to see like a Breath of the Wild insp inspired Zelda as opposed to like just the Zelda we've been seeing for the past few games. Uh, hmm. Well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see the newest version of whatever Zelda game is out. You know, yeah. I mean, like, but I'm saying like with uh with Melee, it was Ocarina of Time, Link, and Ocarina of Time, Young Link. With, Twilight Princess wasn't out yet. Yeah, it wasn't out yet, and but I'm saying like it's still like outdated. Like when with Smash with uh Bra. I mean, yeah, we got Wind Waker Link, but we didn't get, like, Skyward Sword Link. We got, like, Twilight Princess Link. Skyward Sword wasn't out yet, though. Yeah, Brawl was Twilight Princess. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm saying that that's the point I'm making, is that and th in those releases, there, there wasn't a up-to-date Link, and seeing how there isn't a, another Legend of no, Zelda. I, I see what you're saying, because, like, yeah, from Brawl to Smash 4, they just kind of kept the same Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf, with the exception of Link, which fused, fused Twilight's, Twilight Princess and fucking Skyward Sword. And I wouldn't mind... One. I wouldn't mind seeing like a Breath of the Wild inspired Zelda with like a Breath of the Wild inspired Sheik because I think that would be like kind of cool because like the Sheikas play a big role in Breath of the Wild like they play a stupid big role and so there's, there's it's not like they don't exist in that universe like they didn't exist in a uh, in a uh, Twilight Princess but Sheik was still inspired by Twilight Princess. Can I can I be real with you guys right now? Can I be real with you? Oh. I want to be real with you. No. <laughs> You know what I want to see in, in the new Smash? Like, if no. we're gonna do, if we're in terms of Zelda characters, now that I just thought about it, Tingle. I, no, I want to see fucking <laughs> um, what's her face? What's her name? Uh, what's her nuts? Uh, Sheikah lady. I forgot her name. Impa. She? Impa. Oh, Let's Impa. get. Let me Wait, give me Impa one? from Hyrule Warriors, cause she's so fucking cool in that game. Cause she has like a really long sword. neck. No, she has like she <laughs> looks at. Have you looked at her design from Hyrule Warriors? Isn't it the same it design cool. from Skyward Sword? She's no, it's not the same design. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. No, she has, she has like, a big ass sword too. She has a big ass fucking like great sword, and it's like actually really cool. And she has like an interesting. Actually, you could pull a lot of characters from Hyrule Warriors. Granted, that's that would require them like I guess going to te Tecmo Koei because they made the game. Uh, oh yeah, no, okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, not Nintendo Tecmo. characters. They're just like inspired by like Tecmo designs. But like a lot of those characters, you could pull, you could take and put into fucking um, Smash because they have they have move sets, they have a lot of interesting things. Hell, even if they use that design for Link, which in my opinion that's a cool <laughs> design for Link, because they give him like who would have thought giving Link a fucking blue scarf, a long blue scarf, would like make him look cool, like way cooler. Can I say that the this design for Impa is way too cool for this fucking franchise? It is. You know. And if I actually, I'm sorry, Matt, I'm about to go against this. I know Breath of the Wild, like Zelda, is, is like a good design, and she's cute, but like a Hyrule Warriors Zelda, I'm sorry, is the superior Zelda. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, she Zelda cool sucks though. Who cares? Yeah. She she actually. I mean, fights. but they're never gonna take they're never gonna take the design from a Tecmo game and use it for Smash. I know. That's what I would like, especially or, 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 or whoever set up before fucking Linkle. There you go. There's another character. We can <laughs> They're play. not putting her in any. Lickle will be great to have in that game. And then she Smash. can have. Since she uses crossbow, she can have like a solid snake skin. As alternate costume. Uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> anyway, moving on from Zelda. Uh, I also want like a. I know we talked about Ganon making a comeback and maybe being more of his own character. I kind of want like a Breath of the Wild inspired Ganon, but like uh, he didn't really show up in human form in Breath of the Wild. He was like literally just the fucking big. Pig monster, he's whatever. evil. Yeah, he's just the e evil incarnate, whatever. But like a Breath of the Wild inspiring Ganon that's like inspired by the different blights you encounter would be kind of cool. Like just give like the old Ganon design, maybe give him some some of that long freaky hair. And uh, I don't know, like because there's like the water blight, there's the thunder blight, there's the uh, fire blight, and all that stuff. And like all of them had like cool weapons, like sword and shield and stuff like that. Like yeah. I know we're trying to stray away from having more sword characters and stuff but like those, those blight designs are really cool and i would have, like to see that like implemented seen, into a new ganon have you just... seen have you seen hyrule warriors ganon yes i've seen hyrule warriors ganon <laughs> what if they you what if they just took ganon uh the old model for the twilight princess thing that they used for brawl and they just recolored him green why not no <laughs> why take not a lap, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> take a lap he said uh moving on uh I would like to see Toon Link come back, because uh, in every iteration of uh, Smash Brothers, starting with Melee, there's always been like, because there's always the two different games in the franchise. There's like the adult Link, 
uh, Legend of Zelda, and there's always like the Kid Link Legend of Zelda, so I would imagine they're going to keep that theme going with Smash. Do we need to? Yes. Shut the Why? fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Why not make room for another fucking Zelda character? Like, <laughs> take a lap. Uh, Put Imp in. I don't want young Link. We got an older yeah, let's Link. Get, let's get a different character that's not Link. Or but Zelda. we're not going to get that. Let's that's get the Impa. Problem. That's what I would love to have, Impa. I would love that. I would. Impa's no. cool. Soccer, I don't care. When, See, when Impa's if, not, uh, when Impa's not being an are... old lady talking about the Sheikah, when she's actually being like a fucking warrior, like, that's that's cool. I wonder if, uh... Like, cause Sakura always says they add clone characters because they have extra development time. I wonder if that's, like, actually true. He's just like, no, put them in. Like, <laughs> it's like a lazy thing, but, uh... Someone's like, hey, Sakura, hey, Mustard Hero soccer player, we could put in... <laughs> We could put in other cool characters, like, yeah, put Dark Pit in. <laughs> you ever think, you ever stop to think that, like, Sakurai wakes up in the morning, and, like, he's already fucking cranky, and he goes to look at his email, and he's just got, like, thousands of emails, to, like, asking, and, be, like, asking yelling at him to put, Goku, to put Goku into Smash, and he's just like, ah. I don't even just, like Dragon Ball. And he just, like, I don't know, does a line of cocaine, and he's just like, all right, let's fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> if I add Goku, will you even pray him? <laughs> will, will you leave me alone? <laughs> so when will, uh, uh, when, will Kala, when will Kalos uh, from Bot and Kaidos be in Smash? God damn, you're talking about <laughs> Bot and Kaidos? <laughs> Dude, Going. do people even know what that is? Here, it's almost like the way back. The Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean. I'm pretty sure people forgot that game exists. Not I me. Don't know Not you, is. or me, or maybe that's some of game, us in this. That's a GameCube game. Exclusive, ah, I mean. What the fuck is a GameCube? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's it's a purple lunchbox that so you can attack your enemies in the face. <laughs> <laughs> legend, <laughs> says <that if> you, <laughs> legend says if you open up where the Ethernet port is, you might find $100. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> But uh, moving on from Toon Link, uh, Jeremy already said it, but I would too. I would too like to see uh, Wolf come back. Uh, he was he, Wolf was the fucking man, and he needs to make a comeback. I was thinking also too with uh, with the inclusion of Splatoon, maybe have like a secondary Splatoon like rep, be it Kali or Mari. Uh, I mean, because they do like do their own things in the story mode, like they you know, they have their own guns and weapons and shit like that. So, you're gonna I mean, get um, you're gonna get generic inkling one too. You know, yeah, that's what I'm. That's I, what I think. Like they're just gonna stick what with do you that. Mean, but I think like, that was in the trailer. I know, but, you know, no, but I'm saying like, that's probably all we're gonna get. We're probably not gonna get a second. A, is it uh, is it bad that the reason the the biggest reason I want Wolf back above all is just for his theme from Star Fox Assault? A, <laughs> I, his theme is still in the game, guy. I want uh, no. I want his Star Fox Assault version. Yeah, like it's, I in the, wanna... it's in the game, guy. Yeah. Sh shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't. <laughs> he don't... wants it to play while he's fighting. As yeah, well. it's in that. the game, guy. <laughs> All right, shut up. Okay. Uh, Go on. already touched on this too, but I, I would like to see Springman a Ribbon Girl or some sort of arms rep. You're gonna uh, get Springman a Ribbon Girl. I don't know like why you keep going more. Know, you know, but, it's uh, funny that you say that. Like, we're we're all like expecting that, and like, yeah, they're gonna put him in. Next, you know, like they actually do put an arms rep, and it's that fucking mummy guy. Like, we're gonna get him. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna get, we're gonna get that motherfucker. Like, the, you. It's funny that you guys we, we're sitting here assuming we're just gonna get the two main characters, but they're gonna throw some fucking weirdo at us. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Like, we all know, but don't give him do spray, that, though. <laughs> how, how often does Nintendo throw out weird characters like that, though? I mean, Pokemon Trainer was kind of weird, but not, not really. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking I characters that... within a game that, so, you know, a main Nintendo franchise Something that, like, is isn't the main them. character who's in <laughs> on the box. That doesn't, like, happen ever. Like, yeah, almost I mean, ever. He, he, he has a point, though. Like, I don't think we're going to get any characters from any main Nintendo IPs that aren't their main characters. Like, it's really depressing to think about. The, you know, actually, there's a weird character they threw in Dr. Mario in Melee. That's weird. Yeah, I, like all that coming. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just because at the time when they were making Melee, they were just like coming out throwing fucking clone characters at the right. And they're just like, we need another fucking Mario I mean, Yeah, character. they did throw Pichu in there too. I mean, that was... That, that dude, was Pichu's stupid. the weirdest fucking one. <laughs> yeah, like, motherfucker stupid. hurts itself yeah, while it's fucking like, Let's give him a move that adds on damage. You know, the <laughs> point of the game that you don't want to achieve. They're like, hey, <laughs> Sakurai, when's the game go gold? Oh, in about a week. Oh, we put Ganon in there, but we didn't give him any moves. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a last minute thing. Bro, oh. uh, for melee? My last, my last character would be, uh, I think Fred said it. It was, uh, I mean, I'll kind of look forward to Bomberman. 
given with the uh, Superman, uh, Super Bomberman R and shit like that being a Switch exclusive for oh. over a year. You know what's sad about that? It's just, it's like, gonna throw him it, to the ground. It's like, it's, fucking, it. it's like, if they put him, like, Bomberman needs this. He needs this to live <laughs> right now. This motherfucker's on life support in the hospital bed. <laughs> He's looking like the fucking monkey meme, where it's like kind of like got the shit attached to its nose, and he's kind of just dying. And it's just like this motherfucker needs this badly. He needs it to be. You're gonna get again. Bomberman, right? And like, what's what's gonna happen is Konami's gonna be like, the only way you could put Bomberman in is if it has pachinko elements. I knew you were gonna bring pachinko into it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the only way. Every time you throw a bomb, it's a random chance. A slot machine will pop up. And if you get sevens, three sevens, you might blow up the people around. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, goes no to, uh, Nintendo goes to Nintendo goes to Konami, and they're like, "Hey, uh, we want to add one of your characters to Smash." And, and like Konami's like going over like their whole catalog of their own games. And no, they pick a fucking Hasbro character. No, better <laughs> yet, Hasbro fucking, uh, better yet, they're like, "Here, you can it, have uh, generic uh, guy from Metal Gear Survive." You want you want a la card? We can give you a la card from fucking. <laughs> From fucking Castlevania, everyone likes him. We can give you a snake. We can give you a Alucard, card. We can give you one barman. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you you want somebody else. You don't want barman. Who developed barman again? I forget. Uh, um, I said Hasbro, Hudson but it's Soft? terribly wrong. Hudson yeah, Hudson, Hudson Soft. Yeah, Hudson. there you go. Hudson Soft. God, man. Bring a bloody roar character into the mix. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's not like a. It's not like a. Before we delve too deep. deep. You know, it's funny that both you and Fred didn't mention this, and it kind of saddens me because it makes me feel like you guys have just completely moved on from it. Boktai? Boktai? Yeah. Boktai? Yeah. Me and Fred talked about the Boktai as a game no one I, I, I was surprised you guys didn't just... Was... Like, I was surprised you didn't, didn't sit there. I like, Yeah, I thought you were guys going to be like Django, and I was like... But you didn't mention it, and it makes me feel like you guys have accepted it, that he's You're gonna dead. You're going to add Django from forever. Django His final Remember smash that time, Remember that time that third game didn't come here? Yeah, yeah, don't remind, don't remind them. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> hey, okay. Fred, I'm just letting you know you can now you can download the emulator. There. Someone did a English translation, and you that. can get the sunlight manually by pressing certain buttons. Did everybody hear that? Repeat that again, Matt, so that everybody can hear. Yeah. You can get it on emulator. Yeah, but it's come on, it's, it's trash like that, and you it know it's like the first like, two or three hours. Yeah, element, yeah. you know it's trash playing like that. Come on, Matt. I mean, yeah, yeah Fred, you, you want to go outside official, and risk the chance of cancer. I mean, like, who doesn't? Fred <laughs> wants official official release that he can support. That's what he wants. Exactly. You're not going to get that, though. I'm That's sorry. Lunar Knights 2, man. It could happen. And no, it's movie Armageddon. That will never happen. Remember, You're talking about Konami. Movie? Remember that movie Armageddon? If they had Boktai copies, they could have played them during that movie. Hey, man, I'm just saying, like, True. Kojima left Konami, and he still made Metal Gear Survive, even though Metal Gear is... Jima's Metal Gear Sol Survive. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's sort of alive. But we can still get, uh, we can get Boktai Survive. I mean, like, it's it's a possibility. <laughs> 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 Complete with all these multi uh, fucking microtransactions. <laughs> Not just that, you have to pay for an additional save. Like. Survive there, uh, has a lot of any like Boktai references in Metal Gear Survive? Who the no. fuck cares? Was there any references in Metal Gear Five? Do you care that much? Eight, five? I don't think so. I mean, I there think wasn't the last... four. I mean, and oh, Peace Walker and shit. Those are the only games I think you ever got a, a Boktai reference in. There's probably somewhere you're forgetting. Kojima always puts references. Fucking Snake Gun, the fucking the, the Sun Gun or whatever it's called, and fucking Gundel Soul. You s on, fucking take a laugh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you gonna say? Gundel Soul, you, you son of a bitch. Take a laugh. Don't you talk to me about fucking knowing shit. <laughs> Talk about Metroid, you fucking uncultured fucking swine. Fuck you. you. Uncultured <laughs> swine. Shut your fucking mouth. Get out of my house. Take a lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Matt. You know what, Matt? Why don't you take a lap? Why don't take you it take to your own house. Get out of your own house. So, um, also, uh, Star Ocean. Uh, no, it's not Star Ocean. Uh, Fantasy Star 2 Online. Oh, God. For the... Why are you bringing this up? Can you stop, Jack? Yeah, why Can are you, you bringing stop? this up? This is a Smash uh, podcast. No. You tried, you're trying to hurt me in front. Yeah, I want... No, I want a copy of the game inside the game. Just just stop. Yeah, please. Just sit down <laughs> somewhere. We, well, see we, how we, you're not going to get that, Jeff. I will like to end the podcast here. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's been like... It's been like six years. We've moved on. Please stop, Jeff. Well, Sega <laughs> hasn't, apparently. Well, stop, I, Jeff. It's already dead. I don't know dead. what's wrong with them. <laughs> they keep re-releasing... <laughs> Yeah, I don't and know. Not re it's, it's already in English. That's the worst part. It's in English. Then import it's, that it's, shit, it's, bitch. In in the fucking Asian. I switch is not. It's not fucking region locked. Just import it. I don't. Like Fred said before, like I played it. 
It's too old now. It's just stop. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of different other MMOs you can just play. Just now. dig out the fucking 360 and start playing Universe again. I mean, like, what's the big fucking deal? <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could get my PSP and play fucking Fantasy Star Portable 2. That shit was fucking dope. So Matt, did you have any other? I mean, that was characters. it. Bomberman was like my end all be all because I I put him at the bottom of the list because I know it's probably not gonna happen because Konami is a. Uh, you know, just has all these IPs in their fucking back closet. Listen, like, let's Ooh, let's be real. Play. Konami right now is strapping the Suicide Bomber vest to fucking Bomberman and just like, oh, have fun, my child. <laughs> I know something oh, that is probably going to be on the fucking trigger. But I want oh. Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah. Do you think, do you think there's watch. a Mrs. Game and Watch? I mean, like, is that fucking cares? No, no, easy, easy no there's lonely? never been. Stop it. Bro, you lonely? think he would settle down when he gets so much pussy? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does turn you into an octopus. I mean, like, you saw him throwing sausages. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, he, he got is. that credit <laughs> card too, man. <laughs> Swipe that bitch all day. He's got, he's got the, the key he's got that well. key to all the. He's also got the he's greatest got taunt ever with that bell. He's like, ah! He's got the equivalent <laughs> to the key of the city, but it un but it unlocks all the bitches. You know there. why? You know why he has the bell taunt? It's to bring in all the bitches. Like that's what he's got exactly. it for. Let's be real. And that bucket, that's not oil that comes out. Oh, oh <laughs> damn, you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's a semen. <laughs> yes, that was that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. That was the joke. Oh, but that guy, thanks for joining us. This is Turbo Slug DX. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was my last bit, so anyone else have uh, anything else? I got nothing. Mm, no. I said what needed to be said. I said my characters, I stick by them. Well, I had like a, you know that game, 1-2 Switch? Maybe yeah, they'll have yeah. a stage? I don't yeah. know. It, it, oh, you know what like, we forgot? Would it be a stage that would actually implement the use of the fucking remotes? Please and don't. the fucking Please don't. Stop. <laughs> the Nintendo's listening rumble. right now. Sakurai's like, ooh. <laughs> Could you imagine? He's like, I never even thought of that. But you know who we're forgetting? The most important character of all time? Who? Karen from the Switch reveal on the roof. Playing Super Mario Odyssey. Jeez, <laughs> Bro, we're, you're taking it back. Let's like, go, Karen. <laughs> we're trying to have a we're trying to have a party, Karen. We're having drinks like adults. <laughs> you're over here bringing your fucking Switch, being weird in the corner, playing your games. We're it, this is a social event. Now, this is a social event. I said um, I said this in the chat the one day, but there's a good chance that uh, Sans fucking Undertale. Stop. 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 <laughs> okay, with, with that being said, I'd just like to pay a homage to the track Death by Glamour. It's one of the greatest fucking musical pieces I've ever heard in a video game ever. It is a pretty good song. Sans Undertale, though. I mean, let's be real, that no. soundtrack is surprisingly good. It is. Matt, that one song, Matt. Mega Megalonova, whatever? Megalomania. Megalomania. Yeah, that's Matt, I swear to God, if that actually makes it in. Jeff, if that makes it in, I will buy you a copy of uh, Smash for Switch. I hope it does. I hope it makes it in. I want. So you have to buy him it. This Honestly, is okay. This is going on record, and this is going on YouTube for everyone to hear. So if this does happen, you can't fucking bail out. You have to buy him a copy. There's gonna be this weird time squi skip. Yeah. Over, so. I'm not. Like, a, I'm it's not gonna be like Jeff. If Sam makes it to, if Sam makes it on Smash, I will not buy you a copy. It's like sounds all like off tone. And one, shit. one. You just said Sam, I think. I said Sam's. No, he said two, Sam. Uh, two. If there is one character, I don't really like Undertale all that much. But if there's one character that does make it in, like Undine, 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 Undine. Yeah, she's, I would she's like way, her She's like an actual warrior, and like she like. It's more interesting. She is interesting. It'd be, like, kind of funky to see those characters like fully rendered in 3D, unless they like go the Game of Watch approach. <laughs> Let's be real. If we actually did get a Wall character Wheaton. from Undertale, in, we're gonna get fucking. We're we're not gonna get what we want, Jeff. We're gonna get fucking Papyrus. We're gonna get the Meme Lord. We're gonna get all that bullshit. <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> say Isn't Papyrus. Sans already a meme? Isn't the whole game like a meme? Yeah. What about Mike. Frisk? You don't, you don't think we're gonna get Frisk? I don't fuck. Sure. Get that child out of my face. <laughs> shit, man. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Who knows? <laughs> Fight or mercy? Always mercy. Yeah, how are you going to implement Always. the mercy? Uh, what, if, what if it's got like two final sands? Oh, man. Sands is confirmed to be But they're going to explode at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the Either way, they're it. dying. <laughs> Here's he's like, he hands you like a flower and they're like, what? <laughs> I would just like Sakurai to come out one day and be like, I have to read a wad as well right now. I have to. And it says Sans is Ness. And that is all. Oh <laughs> could you imagine he reads that silently to himself? He doesn't reveal it. 
He fucking shreds it, and then he goes to fucking Iwata's, like, casket, and he's just like, why? <laughs> why would you do this? Sir, what do we do with this? Burn it. No one needs <laughs> to know. Can't, they, <laughs> can't know. they can't know. Just remember, if Sans is really in the game, I'm gonna, you're gonna eat those words. <laughs> well, yeah. I will buy you a copy if Sans is in the game. Is because, in the like, game. fucking Undertale's oh, no, come to the Switch. But yeah. honestly, if there's any indie game character that deserves the spot, honestly, and people have People could debate this, I guess, but Shovel Knight would be the one that would make oh, it. Dude, oh, dude. I'm sorry, you misspelled uh, Shantae. Yeah, no, I know exactly <laughs> what the fuck you were going to say. Fuck All right, here. let's, let's no, be real. Shovel let's Knight be... is way, way better. And let's be real. Everywhere. Shovel Knight's more deserving than Shantae. Yeah, fuck you, genius. I would like Shantae, don't get me wrong. I love Shantae too, Matt, but like, let's be realistic here. Shovel Band Knight is just... Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what what is Shantae gonna do that Dixie Kong already can't like let's like like can, already can do like get the fuck out of here let's be real Bayonetta clone I'll take it <laughs> shut up <laughs> how what Final no. smash. Ah, <laughs> where she drops her she drops a tub on you but she doesn't own a tub yeah I know that's the joke <laughs> the tub is I in just want mind. I want Shovel Knight in so he can like so he can fucking do, when they do the intro so he can just hop in anybody Shovel Knight's Beep. in that stupid ass four player Pogo Smash game whatever the fuck it's called the indie Pogo whatever the fuck. I don't know what trash. You're about. I it's don't like know a game where about. like you constantly Wait, jump up and down to I'm, try to jump on each other's heads. I'm pretty sure that's not Smash Brothers. And Shantae's in there too, I think. What the fuck are you talking about? There's an yeah, indie game called about? Indie Pogo, and it's like a four-player smasher or brawler, and it has Shovel Knight, oh, it has Shantae, it has like a bunch about. of, it has that yeah. dude from Bit Trip Runner or whatever in it. It has like all. Bit the Trip Runner. Oh himself. God! It has the Bit Trip Runner guy. Oh, Isn't that his God. name? Like his Bit Trip Runner. I think it is. That fucking one dude too. I know people. People have been saying this guy too. I forget what game he's from. Uh, it's like something breaker or some shit like that. Uh, fuck, what was it? What's his name? Gundam. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, <laughs> Gundam breaker. They get unicorn in there. Unicorn. I'm trying to look it up right now. Listen, as long as they get a Gundam crossbones, I'll be okay with that. Cause Gundam crossbones is like one of the dopest mobile suits. Because <laughs> people have been talking about him too, and like he's actually a pretty cool character. It's like drift something. I forget. I don't know. Drift Sonic breaker. drift. Hyperlight Drifter or whatever the fuck? I don't even know. Hyperlight Drifter, I think that's. Yeah, Hyperlight, yeah. That's what I see. That was <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, I still couldn't see him in Smash. Only exactly. Shovel Knight, honestly. Yeah. I mean, Shantae is a possibility. <laughs> Shantae is always a possibility, but I don't know. Shovel Knight seems so much more fitting. Well, Shovel Knight also and sold it, more. And he also has his own amiibo. Yeah, that too. Shantae can have an amiibo. She, well, she doesn't, doesn't, though. This is a chance he, to. to she sell definitely more doesn't. She could never have her own amiibo because she, no one likes her do, enough. Do, do, do the amiibos have any implementation with the Switch? Yeah, if you uh, touch it to the left one, it uh, reacts, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, when I was playing Breath of the Wild, like tapping like Sonic on it would like give like Link a bunch of stamina, like items and shit like that. And tapping Peach on there gave him like. Uh, yeah. So yeah, to answer your question, yeah, it's there. <laughs> it's on the left or right. <laughs> the answer time. is yes. <laughs> But I forget what, because one of the Joy-Cons is more expensive than the other one, because it has like the IR camera and like the NFC like sensor in it or some shit. Yeah, like that. I think that's the right Joy-Con. But yeah, it's definitely in there. And you know, like that's another reason why I think like a lot of characters are just gonna come back from Smash Four, because like there's amiibos, like they're gonna want you to use them, or at least want to, or at least like sell like a new a new wave of them so people will fucking buy them. Like Marth, those dual blades. But anyway, yeah. anyway, anyone got any other ideas for Sans for... Amiibo? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Ruby Rose from Ruby. You don't even Ruby, man. Get the fuck nah, out of here. Ruby's in the... <laughs> Ruby's in that new... I know. I was just that new she DLC can't... milk money game. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, and she's just like, Oh man, Ragna's super cool. She's, she's like Ragna's only... Up. She's like Ragna's only fangirl. That's it. That's all he's got. He should be Not happy even with Ragna, that. though. She's just like, I love your weapon. I'm telling yeah, you, man. She just like... That. Fawns over uh, uh, Ragnar like that, and then he does Death Spikes her and does his ult and does his ult uh, Astral and just So Jack her. Baker. <laughs> for Smash. Jack Baker, you heard it here first, ladies and Actually, screw that. Baker. Joe Baker, his brother. His brother gets like a robot fist. Oh, uh, Joe Baker's so much cooler. Joe Baker punches monsters so hard they explode. Fuck, are you guys wow. going on about? I just like how in that <laughs> DLC, know what when, when he's like about to like fight some of those things, oh, he's just like, he's just like, he's just like uh, do this motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. The, this dude in Resident Evil 7 literally goes behind monsters, snaps their neck, and then their heads explode. Like, No, if you're going to add any Resident Evil character to Smash, it has to be that tank from Resident Evil 6 that chases you. 
Oh. The one you got back by, Fred. <laughs> well, we're gonna add tanks. Yeah. Let's add the one from Devil May Cry 2, the infected tank. No. Alright, since we're talking crazy, just give us a Moss Hunter. <laughs> That's not so crazy. That's not that With crazy. Cross and Double Cross, I mean, like... I mean, happen. we got a Moss Hunter already in Marvel, so they might be like... No one knows what Marvel is, Fred. It's dead. <laughs> it, let it lie. <laughs> Fucking bring all the assets over to Smash. <laughs> 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 Get Sigma in there. It was a sweet, sweet fucking armor. Cross divide from halfway across the fucking map. Uh, Kirby, uh, definitely predict character prediction. <laughs> Hot take over here. Uh, Kirby, green Kirby, blue Kirby, yellow Kirby. <laughs> you know, funny enough with uh, Kirby, uh, is that is what Star Allies that came out. I heard it's actually pretty mediocre for a Kirby game. All the yeah. Kirby's, all the Kirby's, I feel like past like. Uh, Nightmare in Dreamland and like Amazing Mirror had been like lackluster. No, the fucking the robot one was pretty dope. Oh, Robo Planet. Yeah, that was the last one before this one. Do you think the, they'll change like his Final Smash or some shit? The... Dude, he's fucking Kirby. They're gonna come up with some crazy bullshit. Well, they, they gave him that like big ass sword. They'll rip your asshole from, from, uh, and suck out your insides. Return probably. to Dreamland, <laughs> whatever. They gave him like that big ass sword. I mean, like, I I can see him adding something from like Star Allies or uh, Robo Planet. Like he gets in a giant mech and then starts beating the shit out of you. Star you Allies go, has some Mechanica. Star Allies has some really char uh, impressive character animations. Funny enough, like there was one thing I saw Kirby rip off the armor of an enemy. It was like, oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> what are you doing? No. What are you doing? <laughs> like fuck you, game. Don't make me feel. That's bad not my armor. That's my life support. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby rips yeah, off. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, hot take. Uh, my other character pre uh, prediction is. Uh, uh, you guys might have heard of him. He's from a little known game called Mario. It's Mario. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, 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 Waluigi do, 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 do will be in the game. <laughs> oh no! I mean, they are coming out with that new. Uh, they are re-releasing Luigi's Mansion. Can't believe you, you would say Waluigi. What does that have to do with Wario? Oh, you said Waluigi. Oh, no, I did, no, see, yeah. Fred, Wario, Wario's guaranteed. Wario, <laughs> yeah, Wario. Yeah. Isn't there a new Wario coming out? There's yeah, there's Wario. Wear, Wario but there's also Mario. Uh, tennis Ace is coming out, which has Waluigi in it, and Waluigi had a start in Mario Tennis. Waluigi's another, that's actually been a character's <sighs> joke or not, has been requested for a while, too. I wouldn't to be opposed to Waluigi. He's, he's a cool guy. He's Him and Wario though. could do a team up or something. That's Wal and then, Waluigi. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna drink my ketchup water. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna add all the Star Fox characters in, and they're gonna be based yeah, off all of them. Uh, Star Fox Zero. <laughs> they're gonna add in Bill the dog. Who the fuck is Bill the dog? <laughs> yeah, what? Well, I'm 64. I, I mean, oh, we that did. Dude. I mean, I, I, I guess it's not that crazy. We got Duck Hunt. I mean, uh... Isabella. Slippy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We hey, can add in, um, in this is dinosaur idea. planet. <laughs> <laughs> Di dinosaur planet. Uh. Talking about crystal. Yeah, crystal. Dinosaur planet. Yeah. No, I don't need no oh. furry bitches in my fucking. I thought game. he was talking about blue stinger real quick. I don't know. Yeah, blue stinger. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll add in. We'll Let's add in. Put the drink we'll add in, in too. Um, we'll add in. <laughs> we'll add in the characters from blue stinger. So Elliot, dogs, and uh, Elena. And the Sonic cast will come back. <laughs> the original uh, people on the Dreamcast that voiced them, uh, voiced all of them. All right, Jeff, this is what we need to do. You need to take a week-long <laughs> lap, so when you come back around, we can start this new topic next week, which I totally forgot what it is, but it's whatever. So, does anyone have any other ideas? Or are we just <laughs> <Okay>. bullshit now? <laughs> we'll we'll think of it. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get to it. No, I have I have like a whole like thing of paper. I have like a sheet of paper with all this ideas and shit on it. And I just don't have it in front of me right now, and uh, I'm lost without it. But uh, yeah. so yeah, that's been our character predictions. Uh, we had the whole squad here today. You know, Fred, Jeff, hey. Richard, Jeremy, and myself. We're and, back. Uh, yeah, we're all back. So if you guys want to do another one next week, I am down. You know, um, you didn't give me the uh, big dong nickname. I'm particularly sad about that. <sighs> Richard, aka Blue Rookie, aka Pretty Sad About That, aka. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, uh, let's be real. We got two black guys here, and they both, I'm pretty sure, got two big dicks, so let's be real. Like, so aka, like, likes to fuck out dirty out pussy, apparently. No. <laughs> 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 aka, oh, no, likes no. to fucking oh, draw, no. aka, likes to get down and dirty, aka. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Turbo Slide DX. Pocket. If you like what you heard, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you leave a comment, we will get back to you because we have no fandom whatsoever. So if you leave a comment, we'll talk to you. Thanks, guys. Have a good <laughs> one. I can't work with this Jeremy's. It's a faggot. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Why are you going to the for? <laughs>